Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about getting started on this pressure washing slash lawn care trailer setup. Um, I've been using this trailer for my lawn care the last couple of years. This year we're adding a pressure washing setup to it. Um, not the most ideal trying to do both on one trailer, but we're going to try to make it work at least for this year. And what we have, first thing is mounting a Summit 12 inch hose reel um, on the side. I mounted it over the fender mainly because I've got this big old gate, side gate here. So I'm limited on real space along with having a trimmer rack which honestly may just get removed. A lot of times I just throw the trimmer in the back of the truck anyway. But we'll see if I need more space or whatever. I'll probably take that off. But simple setting up a hose reel. Your hose reel is going to be in a frame um, depending on how you want to mount it. This was actually mounted in a pickup truck before. I bought a whole setup um, in a little Dodge Dakota. I've got a video on my channel of that if you want to check it out and see how that was put into the back of a pickup bed with a, um, a buffer tank and everything mounted in the bed of the truck. Uh, but I've moved it to the trailer. Now ideally you would want to mount corner to corner but with me wanting to get a zero turn mower on this trailer, I had to bring it over. So what I did was I drilled some holes inside the frame here, mounted it to the rail, bolted it down, and then took the frame that they had for the pickup truck, which luckily they made it adjustable. I adjusted it down to what I needed for this. But, I mean, it's it's pretty sturdy just the whole trailer shaking. But ideally you would want to mount to the four corners, or if I wasn't using this, um, for long hair or anything other than pressure washing, I would probably just take this and turn it and mount it at the back um, where I could pull out the back of the trailer instead of one side or the other. Um, if you're mounting on just one side, I would go passenger side because if you're pulling, especially in your cities, if you're pulling up to wash a house from the curb, you're going to be parking with your passenger side to the, uh, to the curb and pulling off of that side to the house. But as you can see, mounted it here. All this frame is back here is some square tubing and what it is is it just went down a size so that it actually slides up and down in here. You set it where you want it, drill your hole, throw your bolt in it. I've got it bolted down to the trailer front and back and it's basically just a square frame. This is welded together. If you don't have a welder, don't know anybody has a welder, you could actually bolt this together. You could make it out of square tubing. Uh, this is angle iron. You could bolt you together angle iron frame to mount it to um, lots of different ways if you want to use two by fours you can bolt you or screw you some two by fours together make you a wooden frame here uh, lots of different ways to mount them but i like this because it is adjustable if i decide to move this to a truck or something i can undo this bolt i can adjust it up if i need to adjust it down some i can just cut you know some off i don't see that happening the trailer reel is pretty short but under your bolt that's adjusts up and down. I had to adjust it down for a trailer. When it was in the back of the Dakota, it was a lot taller. Um, but that's pretty much the basics of it. If you wanted to do this on a truck bed, you could make you a wooden skid or get you a wooden pallet and put it in the bed and then, you know, build your other stuff out of wood, bolt it together. You could pull this right off, lower the tailgate, pull it right off the back off of that or you could build it up onto the rail like it did. We'll see if I have a picture of how this was mounted in the truck. If so, I'll throw it in here. For the guys that really don't know much about the, the hose reels or maybe have never used one before, you're still hauling your hose around or maybe you haven't started yet, hose reel is a big time saver. Um, this here has got 200 feet of hoses for two 100 foot sections. You got a lock here, you pull this out, lock it there, and then a free wheel. You lock it back so that if the hose jumps, it don't keep on rolling, or also when you're traveling, it locks the, the reel in place. Um, got the swivel here with a quick connect. That is where your whip line will go um, from your washer to this. That is then plumbed in here to your hose. Pull your hose off. When you're done, you unhook your hose. Turn your washer off, you come up here, you crank the handle, you roll it up, 
you lock your pin in place, it's done. It gets rid of taking the hose out of your truck, unkinking it, trying to roll it up by hand, it's twisting and flopping all around. This is a huge time saver, even if you don't have, you know, huge equipment, high dollar equipment, get you a hose reel. Uh, I'm looking, hopefully gonna be adding one for the, the supply line water hose too. I'm just kind of out of room on this trailer for what I'm trying to do, but that would also be a big time saver. But most of the time you're not going to be pulling off 100 or 200 feet of supply line, but a lot of times you will need 100, 200 feet of uh, high pressure hose to get around a house or onto a deck, whatever you're doing. Um, but that's pretty much the basics of a hose reel. Again, this is a Summit. It's a steel. It's one of the the lower price ones um, but you can get you know stainless steel aluminum whatever this is a basic simple starter hose reel yeah, it's gonna make it work for what I need it to for this season until I can upgrade